So China says there have been hardly any new COVID deaths, but the experts are warning of trouble ahead. The Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation has produced several projections for the next few months. The first looks at the number of deaths if China adopts the strategy that researchers expect. They believe the total reported deaths during the pandemic will climb above 290,000 by next April. The experts also explored the possibility that a large percentage of people will use masks. Well, that scenario would mean less deaths, roughly 225,000 since the pandemic began. Then there's this scenario. China's government does not bring back any mandates to prevent the spread of the virus. Well, the projected death toll climbs to half a million deaths since the virus first emerged. Now, if there are still no new mandates by the end of next year, the figures climb even higher. The projected number of deaths is 1.6 million during the course of the pandemic. Ali Mokdad is an epidemiologist at the Institute of Health Metrics and Evaluation at the University of Washington, joins us now from Seattle in the US. Good to have you with us. So first of all, let's start with the numbers coming out of China, the official numbers. Uh, do they look credible to you? No, not at all. Uh, the number that we are looking for actually would be hospitalization for COVID and with COVID-19. They're not releasing any of these numbers and the reported number of cases and deaths, of course, is an underestimate. All right, you've put together some casualty projections. I went through them and basically it means the difference is hundreds of thousands of lives being saved depending on whether restrictions or what kind of restrictions are imposed, right? Exactly. So if people in China wear a mask when they are outside their homes, a good quality mask, of course, mortality will come down. And if the government put in place mandates, and we don't mean zero COVID policy, like closing non-essential business, asking people to stay at home in areas where they see a rapid surge of COVID-19, the numbers could go down to about 225,000 compared to 500,000 if they do nothing. And I'm wondering, can restrictions be imposed at this stage if the population is unwilling to comply? Well, we've seen protests against restrictions in China recently, haven't we? It can be only and only if the Chinese government is forthcoming with the number of cases and the number of hospitalization. If you want your public to stay at home, you need to tell them what's happening in their own community. So far, we don't see it. To ask the public to stay at home while you're telling them there are no cases and no deaths from COVID-19, nobody is going to listen and people are going to come outside. You need to be transparent, then people will listen to you. And I'm also wondering, I think we've got to put this in the global context because COVID is not restricted to one country. We've seen it flow from country to country. What does this mean for the rest of the world? Are you putting projections together for the spread globally outside of China too? Yes, we are. So uh, right now, the COVID uh, globally will Im be impacted by China, what's happening in China. We have seen so far billions of infections from Omicron. What's spreading right now in China is BA1, BA2, and BA5. We haven't seen so far an immune escape variant. So that's the good news. So we're expecting about 1.1 billion to be infected in China. Hopefully, none of the new variants that are immune escape will appear. So that's what we're looking at. From the economy standpoint, China is a major producer of uh, health uh, goods that will be a lot of shortage because Chinese will keep them supplies at home will not export them and of course there'll be a lot of delay in goods because China is a major exporter of goods for the whole world can we take any hope in avoiding the sort of 2020 scenario because of vaccines something that we didn't have at the beginning of this um, of this pandemic yeah, yes, we can. I mean, China could uh, use their own booster right now. It will produce some immunity. Their vaccine is not as good as the mRNA vaccines that we have in the Western countries. So countries can donate vaccine. If the Chinese government allow vaccines, mRNA, and give it to the elderly population, the most susceptible people in the country, if they're willing to accept like antiviral medication from other country and give it to their high-risk population, yes, we can avoid a lot of the problems. We need to work together, of course. All right, thank you so much, Charlie Mokdad.